You feeling lucky? Yeah, I am actually. What with this only being a CO2 BB and not the real deal. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load and this is the Umarek Smith & Wesson Model 29 and this is the 8 inch version, the 8 inch barrel version. And I've got to say, it's quite a bit of fun. It definitely looks the part. It looks pretty authentic pretty heavy as well um real good fun back garden plinker pretty much let me just throw out some specs then i'll read them off the back of the box that is the box i'll show you that in a minute but it's got all the specs on the back so 4.5 millimeter or 177 steel bbs six round capacity takes a 12 gram co2 capsule velocity up to 135 meters a second Fixed sight, single and double action trigger, uh, manual safety catch, smooth bore, barrel length. This one is the, well, it's at eight and three eighths of an inch or 210 millimeters. You can also get the six and a half inch or the 162 millimeter. Um, yeah, the 162 millimeter length barrel. Weighing in, the six and a half inch weighs. 1.1 uh, kilograms and the eight and three eighths inch weighs one point well nearly 1.2 kilograms pretty much overall length of the six and a half inch one is 308 millimeters the 18 inch one which is this one 356 millimeters so isn't it pretty cool pretty cool indeed yeah, I had quite a bit of fun with this. So let's just show you this thing in a bit more detail then. So first of all, it takes the 12 gram CO2 capsules, which are in the handle. Now this is a plastic handle, although it looks like it's wood. It's not, it's plastic. I do like how they've got Smith & Wesson's logo there, obviously licensed by uh, s and and on the side there that looks really really nice but there is your co2 capsule there is still a bit in that one basically you uh, pop your co2 capsule in there and then just do this big grub screw up just to pierce it you don't need to hunt for an allen key because there is one already on the grip which is nice and then all you do then is you pop your grip on once you've done it up and there you go pretty pretty cool everything works as it should like on a num normal revolver so single action uh, double action as well and but this is the good bit which makes this thing pretty authentic when you open the cylinder you have got an ejector like that for a start so there's your ejector and i believe you can use uh, speed loaders with this as well but you get these brass cartridges like dummy cartridges you get those with the gun and basically you pop your bb in the back of it not the front of it but in the back of it and what i was doing was basically getting some bbs in like a, a pellet tin and literally just going like that just picking them out like that once they're all loaded you basically put them drop them all in like I said, nice and authentic. Drop them all in like that. And you're obviously faster than what I can do on camera. And you're good to go. Obviously, these ones are not loaded. But let me just show you that, like I said, it has got a bit of uh, bit of gas in. So let me just fire that off in the safe direction. Okay, and then that's your single action. This is your double action. Pretty cool, really, really good fun. I was just shooting uh, just a soda can, pop can, a tin can, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I was throwing uh, ASG blasters down range with this thing, and just having just having a pretty good time blasting away with this. Let me show you the box now. 
I did just read the specs off the box, which is all there, as you can see. Uh, cardboard box, pretty cool. Nice looking gun. It does look like it's chrome when you look at the box, but I think it's just the heavy blueing of uh, of this pistol. But what do you get in the box? Well, you pretty much just get the gun uh, and you just get the, the manual, which is, mm, it's all right. It's a bit sort of basic. It's more of a fold out than like a booklet. Mainly it just gives all your sort of do's and don'ts in each language and basically how to um, how to maintain it but it don't really give you a great deal of info on how to uh, load it or anything like that it's just you know it's just a, a basic sort of maintenance and safety warning thing although actually i tell a lie i tell a lie there's another manual in here there we go i was getting a little bit disappointed at that i thought that was the manual I stand corrected. So here is the manual. That's a bit better, isn't it? I was going to say, I was, I was wondering, hmm, have they actually put one in here? So yeah, the manual, not bad. Black and white photographs, how to load it. That's where you put your BBs. Okay. How to adjust the sights if you need to. I mean, BB guns are not amazingly accurate. Uh, but this one weren't too bad. I was just, you know, nailing a tin can downrange. Nice exploded diagram there, which is cool. I always like to see that. But yeah, just not a bad, not a bad, um, not a bad little manual. Not, not amazing. But that's pretty much what you get in the box. Let's get rid of the box. Adjustable rear sight, as you can see. And then fixed front, but you have got like a, it's almost like fiber optic, almost. It does gather, it does suck in a little bit of light. But isn't that cool? Nice markings on there. Obviously you've got your serial number. I do like how you've got Smith's logo there, Smith & Wesson's logo there. And they are licensed, which is really cool. 44 Magnum on the barrel. It's only underneath there, that's where it tells you it is 4.5 millimeter or 177. But it's nice, it's, it's just a nice, nice collector's piece, I think. You know, if you're into your CO2 guns, then you've got to have a decent revolver, haven't you? And I think this one would certainly fit, fit the bill. But it just feels solid, there's nothing majorly sort of crap that feels you know nothing feels mega crap about this thing let's just take the shells out everything is all metal um and feels feels good obviously you know you've got your plastic wooden grips um but yeah nice not bad not bad at all looks cool definitely looks cool that's what the dangerous end looks like. But yeah, I was having fun with this thing. Like I said, just shooting some tin cans with it, blatting away, having a bit of can killing time as you do, and real good fun. You'll get about, you'll get quite a few shots out of a cartridge. Obviously the warmer the weather, um, or warmer, but the temperature where you know where you are, you'll get generally get more shots out of one of the 12 gram CO2 cartridges. I this was just the second cartridge I ran in this. I think I, I lost count to be fair. I should really count, shouldn't I? How many shots you get out of it? Oh, let me guess. I, I must have got I must have got about 40 good shots, 30 or 40 good shots, must have. So, but yeah, not bad. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. That is your rack and load review of the Umarek Smith & Wesson Model 29. Not a bad little CO2 pistol. Definitely worth a place in your collection if you uh, are into collecting these things. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That's rack and load. See ya.